So the creation of this art piece started uh, something like a year ago when the Art Commission of uh, Radboud University contacted me. And the Art Commission was looking for an art piece that would use artificial intelligence in some way. And what this artwork does is actually create new texts, new inspirational quotes uh, based, inspired on the work of Maria Montessori. So Maria Montessori was one of the biggest inspirations for modern education in the sense that she was a writer and a thinker that uh, wrote uh, most of her pieces at the beginning of the 20th century. There are several unique aspects to this uh, artwork. It's the first time ever that AI is used to actually combine uh, AI with uh, Maria Montessori and actually write new text. But it's also an art piece that uses the most advanced uh, AI system uh, used for text generation today called uh, GPT-3. It basically uh, is a sort of interacting with what's happening uh, at the university because it takes a look at the system at the university's website, at the research news section, and extracts all kinds of topic and overarching themes for it to reflect on what's happening uh, at the university. But it's also an experiment with a new sort of visual design. Yeah, the artwork was created in close cooperation with uh, the AI department of Radboud University, uh, represented by Gabrielle Ras. And it was cooperation that really enabled us to uh, bring this whole art piece, the whole system behind it, to, uh, to a higher level. So the quote generation, in short, is we get the topic from Jeroen. This gets passed through a sensitivity context filter. Then it checks it for plagiarism. And finally, we debias the text and thus deliver the final quote. In general, we saw that GPT-3 gave really awesome quotes. But when we looked closely, we saw that um, there was a lot of bias in the system. So an example of this is the word child or teacher and the biases that exist with these two words, such as the child does something when he is so we decided to take these uh, gendered pronouns and replace them by they or them, uh, such that the entire uh, quote generation part is as gender neutral as possible. And in that way, we tried to yeah, take out a bit of the bias uh, that exists right now uh, in the quote generation part. The intention behind it is to actually give students and researchers at the university a little bit of that inspiration, of that spirit of Montessori. So basically what it's doing it's bringing the spirit of the past into the now using a futuristic technology, AI. And that's why we call the artwork the spirit machine. <laughs>